Hi everyone, how are you? So today I filmed a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right now using the Lorac Pro To Go palette and I just got this in the mail yesterday. I'm obsessed with it already. This was actually the very first time that I used the shadows on my lid and the bronzer and the blush on my face and I just love how they worked so much. I will have a review on my channel up before this video so I will link that in the description bar below in case you're interested in checking it out but this is what the palette looks like. It comes with six shadows and a bronzer and a blush and they're all beautiful so if you guys are interested in seeing how these shadows work then just keep on watching I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer this step is optional but I am going to use the Maybelline color tattoo in barely branded as a base I am going to begin by using pearl as a base for my lids. If you prefer a matte look, you could always use shell, but I prefer pearl because it's a beautiful, slightly shimmery base that will help make your eyes appear bigger and more awake. Then I am going to use Cafe as a transition color above my crease. This shadow is super pigmented, so I only used a little and made sure to blend it out really well. I took a little bit of shell to use this to blend out my transition color because I wanted it to be really subtle. Then I used this absolutely beautiful color, Mink, as my crease color. You can build this to be dramatic or you can keep it subtle depending on your preference. If you're going for an everyday look, you can just use a little bit or again, you can build it up to be really dramatic. I just took a clean crease brush here and blended it out and then afterwards I took a dense brush and smudged it into my lower lash line just to pull the whole look together. Next I took black and placed this in my outer V to make the look a little bit more dramatic. Again the shadow is super pigmented so I just took a little and blended it out with a clean brush and then I also used it as a liner for my upper and lower lash lines. I used pearl, which was the lid color, as a highlight for my inner corner, and shell, which is the matte shade, as a highlight for underneath my brows. I, of course, used my favorite liquid liner by e.l.f. to line my upper lash. I'm curling my lashes with my Tweezerman Lash Curler and my camera cut it out but I actually used the Lorac Mascara for my lashes and then used the Urban Decay 24-7 Pencil in Zero for my waterline. So this is the finished eye look and this palette comes with two beautiful blushes but I'm using the coral one for this look and I also use this gorgeous beautiful matte bronzer for contouring. I love the color and the shade of this bronzer because I have pale skin and I feel like the milk chocolatey color works really well without looking orange. Thank 
you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you like this look and if you would like to see another look because there's kind of like um, another look I would like to create with it using like chai in the crease. Um, just let me know and I can definitely do that. I think that these colors are really pretty for fall or just an everyday basis. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that my review is in the description bar below if you want to check it out and I will talk to you later. Bye. No, you never seem to mind When I show up late in this broke-down car of mine To pick you up